can't believe you're going through with this, Carter. Paying these thugs to tear down the village isn't gonna bring your money back. This isn't about the money. This is payback for Sammy Davis dating Kim Novak. Oh, come on, Carter, don't do this. You don't want to be the first white guy to do something bad to Africa. Are you about done? I'm supposed to go lion shooting with a scumbag dentist. <sighs> oh my god, they're even taking down a mosquito netting. <laughs> buzz, buzz, buzz. No, Carter, I can't let you do this. I won't stand by and let you further ruin this terrible place. Oh, is that right? Yes, that is right. Here's 5,000 bucks. Lock up that fat ass. Damn it, this sucks. I may never get out of here. Well, as a man falsely imprisoned in Africa, I have no choice but to write a memoir of my struggles. Chapter one. Harry Potter's aunt and uncle were super mean. Spank me harder, the lady says to Fifty Shades of Grey. That's Mr. Fifty Shades of Grey to you, Kate from Ben and Kate. And then he turned her butt inside out, because sexy. Isn't that special, said the church lady before reporting for her botched surgery. Anyway, I'm here in a prison against my will, and I should be free. The end. Take this, Chibo. Take this to a French-Canadian flight attendant, and he will give it to everybody. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Our top story, sinking newscaster. Just kidding, it's the chair. But in other news, domestic abuse enthusiast Paul Simon has released a new song inspired by a memoir written by Quahog's own Peter Griffin, who has been falsely imprisoned by his father-in-law in an African jail. Oh, for God's sake. I bet there's not one word about you in that book. There's a great man locked up in a cell The African folks all know him well He's a great spirit with a lot to say That's why they locked Peter Griffin away There's a breeze that's in the air Peter Griffin in my hair Peter Griffin up my nose In my lungs and down to my toes Peter Griffin in my skin Everybody breathe him in Peter Griffin Freedom for Peter Griffin to Griffin, let my Peter go. Now wait, let me get this straight. None of you guys has ever heard of Bono? He says he knows you. Daddy, what the hell are you doing? You throw Peter in jail? Hey, Pumpkin, welcome. Whatever you do, don't tell them you have a clitoris. Yeah, they told me that at the embassy. Look, I'm sorry you got swindled, but you can't treat people this way. You let Peter out of that jail right now and give these people back their health clinic and their school. No. Hi, Lois. I like your shorts. Bye, Lois. Oh, my God! Enough is enough. That's your son-in-law and my husband. I know how families work, Lois. All right. Let him go. Yay! Lois, how much was your flight and which card did you put it on? Daddy, I don't understand any of this. I mean, you've always been grouchy, but why are you being so mean-spirited? What's gotten into you? What's gotten into me? I'm angry! For God's sake, I can't even be left alone in my own house for an afternoon. You have to drop me off at your house so this fat idiot can babysit me. I'm old and it sucks. I'm sorry, Daddy. I realize growing old is no fun, but this is no way to act. I know. I'm sorry I almost had you shot. Oh, that's all right. I got a fever of 108. I'm not going to remember any of this. And I'm sorry for what I did to your village, Dave. His name is Dave? Yeah. Get to know these people, okay? Listen, when I get home, I'll transfer enough money so you can rebuild your town. You've all been very kind. Yeah, this has been great, guys. Now, all I need is a group photo of me kneeling in front of the village so I can brag about what a good person I am. <laughs>